All right, everyone, welcome to our second card opening here. So this is a little bit different than what we did last time. I have my good friend Eric here. Hey. Uh, so we're not doing Yu-Gi-Oh! I wanted to do Pokemon, but we're not doing Pokemon either because one of our fans actually sent us in a lot of magic cards. So we have all of this in magic cards. We're only going to go through one box. If we even get through one of these boxes. If we even get yeah, through one of these boxes. Oh. To give you an idea of exactly what's like in here. So they're kind of heavy. Filled to the brim. Yeah, they're filled with magic cards. And I don't know... I don't know a whole lot about magic. Eric does. How long have you been playing magic? I know magic? some magic. Uh, I've been playing since high school, so eight, nine, maybe ten years at this point. Um, definitely <laughs> uh, was not playing when these sets came out and these cards came out. Yeah. Uh, but these... yeah, it would be fun to go through and see what we got. <laughs> so I don't know anything about magic. I've organized this box, which is why we're going to go through this box first by the little pictures. <laughs> The in, the, in the bottom right, yeah, the sets. In the bottom right, so I have no idea what any of these cards do or how much they're worth, but we're just gonna just see what is in here. The, all of these cards I got for twenty dollars. Okay. <laughs> so if we make over twenty dollars, we have made our money back. So you're saying if I give you twenty dollars, you'll split this with me? Absolutely. <laughs> we're we'll. we'll We'll figure it out. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll work it out because I know we're gonna uh, bring these into a card shop and see if we can sell fence them or something. Or so attempt to sell. Or I'll just give some to him if he wants them. I don't know. Can yeah. you run these in tournaments? Depending on the age. Uh, or? Yes. I don't know how the rules. It will depend on what we find. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I don't mind. I don't really. Does I don't play magic. Doesn't bother me either way. So. Yeah, so how do you want to start? Uh, this one might as well. So this is actually so this is a this is a deck. Okay. Yeah. So these are all like little manuals little that were in there. Instruction. So. Okay. Goodness. Deck details, I guess. So this is um, World's Brussels, August two thousand. So this is Tom Van de Loch. I yeah, think. That, you said that right. That looks right, huh? Yeah. Sure. 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 <laughs> so Tom Van de Loch. We'll, we'll go with that. We can teach you how to play. Oh great! Yeah, this yeah. is kind of all you need to get. So, so you'll uh, run his deck. Oh, I'll run a different deck from two thousand. Um, I don't. That's no. is that right? So, okay. Um, that because these are promos, that might be uh what the price is if you bought all this the legal cards, right? Because these have the the world's uh yeah. logo on the back. Market At the price. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. So this deck, according to. TCG player. So now these are where we're going to get all the prices from, I guess. Yeah. I think that's the most accurate. So this deck, if you want to yeah. give it to me, I'll hold no, it up. How about it? So Tom Vandalock's full deck, which is what we have here, okay. $350, according to TCG player. That's so Italian uh, corner. Yeah, yeah as, as with the last episode, there'll be a tally in the top right hand corner uh, every time we pull something that's worth value. So $350 bucks for this deck, this little box. So this box. box of cardboard right there. So yeah, okay. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> good start. Uh, good, good start. <laughs> oh, one of those. Perfect. Yeah, that's. What does that do? So we got Dance of the Dead. Actually, that's nine dollars and twenty-one cents. So add that to the tally. That's pretty good. You want to put that off to the side? Yeah, I want to see what this does. Uh, so it's a two-drop, one colorless, one black. Take target creature from any graveyard and put it directly into play under your control. Tap with a one-one counter on it. Treat the creature as though it were just summoned. The creature does not untap during its controller's untap step. At the end of his or her upkeep, its controller may pay uh, an additional one colorless and one black to untap it. If Dance of the Dead is removed, bury the creature uh, in its owner's graveyard. Okay, so... So it's like a monster reborn. Yeah. Um, okay. But it has a little bit of a deficit. Okay, so, you know, not too bad uh, of a pull to, I guess, start, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll take it, I'll take it. Yeah, oh, there we go. Excellent, another good one. We actually two have two. So we got two Fire Covenants for uh, four ninety five a piece. So that's not too bad, I'll take that. Drop colorless black red. Uh, it does X damage divided uh, any way you choose among any number of target creatures where X is equal to the amount of life you pay interesting. Effects that prevent or redirect damage cannot be used to counter this loss of life. Okay, so pay three, lose X life, deal X damage. Okay, interesting. Solid. Nice. So we got two Fendhorn Elves at a, a $1.22 a piece. So, not too bad, not too bad. I'll take this. Uh, 
one drop, and then, uh, yeah, tap to add uh, one forest mana. One green mana. Interesting. All right, well, that rounds out our Ice Age. So that's not too bad. We got a couple. We got, we got five cards, five cards in total. So, I mean, I'll take it. Uh, might as well just put them back in the box. I'll, I'll keep this one over there because this is the $350 box. So that one, that box was just a little bit better than this one, I would say. Um, yeah, just a little it's, bit. It's, uh, it's, you know, we'll see you guys. So this says Urzo's Legacy. Let's see if that actually is what it is. Uh, do you have Cloud of Fairies? There it is. Cloud of Fairies. Yeah, yeah how many do you have? Two, three, four, five. five. All right. So we got five Cloud of Fairies valued at $2.13 per card. So that is not, that's like 10, 10 bucks right there, right? You know, like, uh, I think if my math is right. Oh, this is actually really good. Um, so it's a two drop with flying, and when it comes into play, you untap two lands. So you pay, you tap your two lands for it, okay. and then you get them back after you play it. Oh, that's cool. So that's, that's pretty good. That's why it's uh, holding value. Just solid. Sure. All right. Uh, crop rotation. Yep, we got, uh, again, five. Okay. So we got five crop rotations valued at $1.32 a piece. Yep. That is also really good. Uh, so crop rotation, one drop in green. Uh, at the time you play crop rotation, sack a land, search your library for a land card, put it into play, stuff your library afterwards. Okay, so okay. not too bad. Trade out a land on the field. Sure. Fairy Conclave. Yeah. Fairy Conclave. Okay. We got two of these. Oh my gosh. Uh, gonna, this one. So this is a land. Uh, comes in to play tapped. Add a blue mana to your mana pool, or uh, pay two. It becomes a 2-1 blue creature with flying until end of turn, and it still counts as a land. So okay. that's, that's pretty nice. Sure. So we've got two fairy conclaves, and these are valued at a dollar eighty-one a piece. So that's not too bad. That's another what three bucks there, three sixty. Yeah. So we'll go with that. Um, then we have fog of gnats. Yeah. How many of those do we, we have? have? Five of these bad boys. Okay, so we got one. five fog of gnats right here. So that's a dollar with seven. So another five bucks. Yeah. Uh, two drop for one one of flying that has pay one black and regenerate fog of nets. Okay. So there we go. <laughs> sure. Uh, then the next one would be frantic search. Oh, there you go. I see it. Yeah, it's a blue one. Two of those. Yeah. So frantic search. Two of these valued at a dollar twenty-eight a piece. So that's not too bad. I'll take it. Right. So what does that one do? Uh, three drop blue. Uh, draw two cards. Choose and discard two cards. Uh, untap up to three lands. So again, you're untapping three lands. You're after, drawing. So you draw two, discard two. Oh, so that's like a graceful free. charity, where you draw three and discard two, and that could be anything in your hand. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it. that's not too bad. Okay, so we got Martyr's Cause here for two dollars and twenty-nine cents. Nice. So that's not too bad. I'll take that. Uh, three drop in white. Sacrifice a creature. Prevent all damage to target creature or player from one source. Oh, okay. sure. On that. So we got. Uh, oh, that one's fun. Portal. Yeah. Okay. Well, it might not be portal. It is portal. Well, oh, yeah, there's just here. portal. There is just portal. So what? Cloak of Feathers, right? Yeah. That was the first one? Yeah. Yep. So that's in here. So that's $3. All right. Good start. <laughs> so so good start. Cloak of Feathers, $3.41. So, so not, not too bad uh, to start. One blue. Uh, a target creature gains flying until end of turn, and you draw a card. What so, does flying mean? Um, so... It can't be blocked by other creatures with flying. So, like, if you think about combat, like, ground combat and air combat. Oh, okay. So, like, a dragon would have flying, and it can block gotcha. things in the air, or it can also block stuff on the ground. Oh, that's cool. So it's just better. Um, gotcha. All right. Well, I mean, that's the end of uh, Portal. Uh, right. Yeah, we got, we got uh, Cloak of Feathers. Yeah, I didn't... Was there another one? Or? That was it. All right, that's fine. Hey, you know, then, not too bad. You goes in the, goes in the pile. It goes, in the, goes into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> the rest goes in the fire. We'll, we'll maybe hold on to that one. Um... Urza's Saga. If that is Urza's Saga. Do you have Island? Yes. Oh yeah, my god. A couple different arts. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to give you all of those. I'll look through it. So, the ones that are... They're all worth something. So that's a good... All of these. At least a dollar. Yeah, all of them are at least a dollar. Okay, so... Lightning and stuff? Yep. Dollar... So, Island 335? 206 for four. So, it's like an eight something? Eight something. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's nice. Three for one dollar. So three at a dollar or four. So, so island three thirty-eight, three at a dollar eight. So that's not too bad. I don't know why those are valued so much. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen islands out of about a dollar. So this must be the second half of Ice Age that we didn't have. Remember? Okay, sure. Yeah, so we got more Ice Age here. So that's actually not the end of Ice Age. It's very likely that they already went through all of these. Mm -hmm. That's what it's kind of seeming like. Yeah. Illusionary Presence for $2.63. So 
It's not too bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that one's that one. Three of those, I think. So we got three mountains for a dollar or three a piece. So that's not too bad. I mean, I'll take it. So I got pyroblast for three eighty-five a piece. So hydroblast not worth anything. Hydro hydroblast? Yeah, that's the counterpart in blue. Uh, no, it's not worth anything. Oh, okay. Maybe I guess pyroblast is better. I mean, it's a counter spell in red, oh, so you don't you get that. You have counter spells in blue all the time. So that is the end of Ice Age, maybe. Yeah. Uh, illusionary presence and some mountains and the power blast. That's not too bad. Oh, so we got more of the hammers one. So this must be the second half of the hammers. Uh, which was versus something. Unearth. Yeah. Two so of those two of those. Numbers. So two unearths and these are valued at a dollar ten. So not too bad. Uh, okay. Oh, perfect. Two minutes. So we got two uh, Vashino heretics at a dollar forty one. So not too bad. Oh, uh, Unearth is pretty solid. That's a one drop in black, choose target creature in your graveyard with total converted mana cost of three or less, and put that into play, and it has cycling. So take some uh, Monster Reborn for small things. Oh okay. god, that's not too bad. So this is more Ice Age. Are you kidding me? More Ice Age. Probably. I'm just going to go through Ice Age really quickly, and if there's anything in here oh, that okay. would be left that we would care about, I'll pull it. Okay, so I've got a couple here that are worth something if you want to uh, take yeah. a seat real quick. Okay, so Snow Covered Forest. So this is worth yeah. 267 per, so I got three of them, so that's nice. Nice. So, head over to you. Yep. And then next up is Snow Covered Island at 408. So not too bad. Only one, then. Only one, only one. And then we got Snow Covered Mountain. Which is valued at a dollar seventy-five a piece, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. Another six bucks there. So another, yeah, well, more than six bucks, a dollar seven, seven, oh, so, uh, yeah. seventy-five, so gotcha, gotcha. almost twelve. Uh, and then we got snow-covered plains at dollar forty-six, and then we've got two snow-covered swamps at two forty-eight. So the swamps were the highest value of the individually. Yeah. No, the snow covered island is the highest at 408. Okay. So the next one would be Soul Barrier. So we have one of those. So we have a Soul Barrier at $2, even. Solid. Not too bad, not too bad. So we got Sunstone, 273. Cool. Not too bad. Okay, Basically, this is something. Yeah. This is something. Swords to Plowshares, 768. Yeah. That's uh, still a used card, actually, and then being the old art, that's going to be kind of cool. That is cool. So that, I think, rounds out Ice Age then. Because that goes all the way down to mid bottom, so that's all of our yeah, ice okay. ages. <laughs> so what's left? He's labeled. So this is the unglued, and I think that the planes might be worth something there, and the token might be worth something. Everything else is uh, yeah, hard to say, and we only have a couple letters. What's what symbol is it? Uh huh. Yeah, I'm gonna start by rarity first. Okay. So, uh, so rares. So what do we got for rares? Uh, okay. Or wait, wait. What's the other thing? What is T? Oh, these are tokens, right? Yeah. Oh, these are worth so a lot. Have, I think a soldier. A soldier. So this guy. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So there soldier token. Buck fifty-five. Dollar fifty-five. For soldier token. And then what? Land is the elves, right? Oh my Probably. god, these are yeah, worth a lot. A lot. They should be at least. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not entirely okay, sure. Planes. If this is, yeah. Planes. Is this the same? Yeah. Art. I don't know. There's only one. So. Right, but is this actually from that set? Yeah, it looks like it. So we got Four planes, bucks. three ninety four. That's actually not as good. These are yeah. good. You were telling me like I was asking you, and you're like, oh, these are probably not worth anything. These are all I worth a lot. Some things you can play them. So like the tokens yeah. and like the land you can play because of whatever. It's like. Well, the rares. I was, uh, we'll, we'll, when we get to the rares, we'll get to the rares. Is that it for land? Yeah. I'm okay. Okay. So let's go to rares then. Okay. So I'll. Alphabetical through rares. So what's the, what's the first free for all? Free for all. Uh, that is a dollar oh four. I'll hold that up. One dollar and four cents. So it's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, spark fiend and mirror 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 mirror. Uh, okay. So spark mirror mirror is dollar eighteen. So not too bad. Nice. That is interesting. That yeah. They, like, this is they're just having fun with these sets. Yeah. Um, uh, and then what did you say? Spark fiend. Yeah. That is unfortunately only 50 cents. Yeah, that's not so. uh, okay. Why is it so tiny? Because it's a lot of text. Uh, I see. Again, okay. they're just kind of having fun with it. Censorship. Censorship, of course. Yeah, that's, that's worth a dollar. Oh, so yeah. that was... Uh, Censorship? I have that. Um, uh, it, 
Uh, you say a word, and every time someone says the word, it does damage them or something like that. Huh. They, yeah, just ran, and you don't tell people what the word is necessarily. You just choose a word, if I remember correctly. Interesting. Um, anywho. So, censorship. <laughs> Dollar twenty-seven. There you go. I was wondering how, what that card does. Yeah. Yeah, just all right, sure. Memes. And then, um, what's next? Chaos Confetti is the only one. Yeah. That's Chaos Confetti? Uh, sure. Chaos Confetti, a dollar. <laughs> uh, is that what I think it is? Uh, so, pay for and tap it. Tear it into pieces. Throw the pieces onto the play area from a distance of at least five feet. Destroy each card in play that a piece touches. Remove the pieces from the game afterwards. So you rip so up you the card. you have to rip up the card to play it. That's so, kind of bogus. Yeah, that's why it's a dollar, because everyone's ripped them up. So it's a little, a little bit more rare than everything else if you right. played them. Oh, yeah. the so that'll be, that's, uh, that's it for unglued, I guess. Unless we find any more. Yeah, you know. I'm gonna put all these in the box. In the unglued box, section. yeah, that might be a good idea. So. so now I'm wondering if any of these sections out are also box stuff. That very well might be like, the case. More Ice Age. So I know that there's, oh, yeah, maybe. No. I know that there's one that is like an anvil. So these are the ones we haven't gone through yet. Correct. Might as well open them up and see what their symbol is. Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of Fallen Empires too. Tempest and I have Legends. And Tempest. Tempest, okay. So, all right, we'll do Tempest first. Okay. And then... That's where we're starting, and we'll see where we get... Eye cards. Mm -hmm. All the way down to eye. Yeah, we are. Uh, $2.52. $2.52. <laughs> so that's true drop uh, whenever target opponent successfully casts a green spell, draw a card. Yeah. So it's super situational, but potentially... Yeah. Could be useful. I think... I think what we'll do... <laughs> we've gone on... Let's... let's a while. Yeah. yeah, let's, um... Let's see, we haven't so we gone have into this one yet, have we? Two homelands and more of Urza's Legacy, the hammer one. Yeah, are there anything in Urza's Legacy that we might... Let's just go go through the... that. I'll pull up Urza's Legacy. Two snaps. Two snaps. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I like those cards. So we got two snaps, uh, five, 46 apiece. So it's about oh, wow. 10 bucks, or almost, almost 11, actually. So I think what we'll do is we'll just end there on that note. Um, we've still got, like... A ton more stuff that to go through. Half of a box. Yeah, that was not even a full <laughs> box. Um, I think what we'll do is we might look at this off camera. But yeah, let me know what you think. We also have, you know, more stuff that's coming in the sense of card openings, and we're doing, you know, Pokemon as well. So look forward to that. So, anyway, like and subscribe. Uh, appreciate you coming in, Eric, and yeah. spending an sure hour going, yeah, through going through magic through cards. A fraction, a sixth. Of yeah, what we have here, a maybe? sixth. Yeah, Ma yeah maybe. Um, so, right, anyway. Have a wonderful rest of your guys' week.